Hey, this is Miss Missy coming at you with another video. And this video is about package deal. And what I mean by package deal in this scenario, when you dating someone and they have children, guess what? It's a package deal. You can't separate the kids from the parent. No, it's a package deal. I'm going to say this. It is more acceptable for when a woman is dating for her kids, you know, to be accepted versus when a guy is dating and he have children is not as quick or more acceptable in in his category. Now, let me break this down in this term. A females, you're dating, you have children. Okay, you've been with this guy for a few for a minute or however y'all want to say it or do it get to know him first before you bring him around your children okay constantly throughout the year you can see on the news and your news reading your newspaper on facebook any social media it shows and they talk about the mother leave the kids at home with her boyfriend go to work go to the store he doing something to them molesting them um beating them and killing them all right you going to work? He should be going to work too. If he's not going to work, drop your kids off. Drop your kids off at your parents or your baby daddy house or his side of family. Yes, he needs to get to know the kids, but you need to really get to know him first. Okay. Now, what I'm going to say is this. Also, I'm still on the females. Now, you with this guy. For some time, you got you know he's getting to know you and your kids now. You're at the level where he, you, he's at the level where you introduce him to your children, and if he see that your children are in a need of something, or whatever the case may be, if he's a man, he will step up to the plate and help you out. Now on the on the same note, y'all female, not all, some of y'all trifling, y'all get money child support and everything like that but y'all put it on yourselves and you have your kids to go without i have seen it plenty of times plenty of times i even have a few females in my family that's doing that that's doing that of course that's a sidebar i'm not gonna bring the family into this but just in case y'all watching i ain't put no name i ain't put nobody on blast but you know who you are you know who you are you you get your child support, child support money and what you do put it on yourself put on the outfit you up in the club or you out doing whatever you want to do while your kids looking raggedy while your kid yeah while your kids looking raggedy but you top notch you top notch now getting back to the guy if he a real man and he see that your child needs something he will step up to the place and listen even if he don't go do it himself listen he listen um sweetheart love babe whatever he want to call you look um he need xyz or she need xyz get it done and when he give you the money go do he go do what you got to do for your child be right do right by your child by your children now for the guys no let me go back to the female now to some of the females now there are some females i have met one in my lifetime that she is paying child support one and she is paying child support okay so shout out to the females that are paying child support you know and what i mean by shout out not patting you on your back for doing something that you're supposed to do because you're a parent but there are females that won't do won't do won't care about the kids the kids be dropped off at grandma house they gone all the time dropped off one child here one child there they gone they doing them did you wonder why one child acting up this child not doing right what you doing in your household now i'm gonna jump on to the man side I'm going to use me as a good example. My husband, he have children. He was married twice. He's a widow one time, and then he remarried. He have children of his own. I don't have any children. So guess what? When he told me he had children, we, we were talking, from talking, started dating, from dating, being engaged, from engaged, being married. Along the lines, just before we got engaged, before I didn't even know he was going to ask the question, his kids became my kids. Okay? Because it's a package. I can't separate the father from the kids. I can't. And we talk about the kids. 
and Padami Alats too from his last from his last marriage. Those are the younger ones. The other ones they they are of age. They are over age eighteen, you know. But the last two and everything like that. And I tell them, listen, no, you need to go see them. I don't care if you do a you know they outside do a pop up visit, spend time with them and everything like that. You know, spend time with them. Because for the simple fact, okay, money is there, but who knows that they're getting the money? Do they even know about the money? We don't, they, we don't have nothing to do with them. Like, they really have to know about that. But what I'm saying is this. There are females out there that's not doing right by their children. Their children will go weeks, days, months without. And that don't make no sense because the last time I checked, it's called child support. Child support means the money goes to the child. Now, if you have a bill that needs to be paid, that's something different because the child lives with you. So that will fall on the lines of doing right by your child. Not your child going without something, especially the basics. That right there does not make no sense. When you think you're trying to hurt that child parent, your former spouse, your former boyfriend, your former boyfriend, your former girlfriend. No, 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 no. In the midst, the child's getting hurt, but at the end, at the end, hmm, at the end, it's going to backfire. Because when the kids, kids don't stay kids always. They grow up. So, if you have an alt against your child father or a child um, mother, it's best don't even put them in it. Don't even tell them about it. Don't bring bitterness or teach your children bitterness because when they see truth, you're looking like a fool. I'ma back up. My father and my mother divorced when I was a little girl. My father left, my mother did her thing with my, my sister and I and everything like that. Not one time my mother spoke ill of my father. Not one time. Not one time. It wasn't until after I made contact and start visiting my father in South Carolina where it was his siblings that told him told me things that my father did and i would call my mother like mama well, why you didn't tell me you know he did this he said this oh, oh, oh xyz excuse me you know what my mother told me because it's none of your business you was a child the issue was between me the issue was between your father and i not your father i and the kids no no I didn't know I was what 28 27 no 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 29 I was 29 years old when I found out he paid no child support and this video is not to bash my father neither so just in case he see it or somebody else see it and, and put him onto the video mm hmm caught you there okay caught you right there because I know some people that's what y'all do but y'all know Missy have no problem repeating herself if I say it one time if I'm grown enough to say it I'm grown enough darn sure to repeat myself again now let me get out my feelings but I didn't know that he didn't pay no child support none you know why because my mother never talked ill of him she never said nothing bad about him she never said he didn't do this and do that she ain't taking her frustration out on me or my sister Okay, so with that being said, that allowed me to want a desire to have a desire to have a relationship with my father. And even after I found out whatever went down, half the stuff that went down, some stuff went down. Even now, even now, I am 40 years old. You know, my mother would not talk about it. She won't. She would not bash him. She would not say, you know, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Now, she will laugh and say, you know, um, when he hit her one time one time okay i ain't gonna go in detail but he only did it one time and one time only i'm telling my mother i'm five foot two five foot three so my mother's five feet five feet one my father's what six one six two mm. that's all i gotta say he did it one time one time only that's all i gotta say and i'm gonna say i'm gonna say they grown folks business but we're gonna grown folks business but we're gonna get back to the package deal you cannot separate the children from their parents so if you're dating a parent, guess what? The kids come with a package deal. The kids come along too. When you go on dates sometimes, or whatever case may be, if the child lives with that parent, because there's some parents, there's some guys, hold up, 
I know quite a few men that are taking care of their kids. They live with their kids. Their kids live with them. They have custody of their daughters or of their children. And I'm very proud of a few of my classmates, two of them that I know, they have custody of their daughters. And they are men. Okay? Have full custody and don't want no child support. Look, go on with your business. Just get my child. Because my child will not be here, be there, everywhere. No, 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 no. So, to that, I really... You know, I would say tip my hat, but I ain't got no hat on. Y'all see my little curls? Let me tell you something. I'm going to do a little sidebar. I know y'all going to get tired of me doing these sidebars. This is cute. This is real cute. Real cute came out wrong. But you know what? Yeah, the, the edges, they coming in. They coming in. That virgin plug, virgin hair fertilizer, mm-hmm, it's doing its job. It's coming. It's coming. Because, you know, my husband said, if y'all saw other videos, my husband said, I'm not sh he, I, I can't shave my edges, so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cute. Kind of cute. But I don't like the way it feels. I use something on it, and it feels real, you know, and it's tight. Like, But it's good, because it's like tight curls as if I had a perm and everything. Matter of fact, let's just do this pan of the hair. Wait, let me show the acne. Let's turn it this way. I know you be like this girl forever. If she videotaping the car, she forever in the parking lot. I know. So, I hope I'm getting it right because this I can't raise butt so high. It's acting up right now. So the change of the weather and stuff. Okay, let's get back to this package deal. Enough about the hair. I'll do a hair video then later. But let's get back to this package. Oh, I'm over 10 minutes. Good God. Okay, let's get back to this package deal. I don't know how to edit, so I'm gonna hurry hurry up. Um just know. If if the guy or the female, if the person that you're dating and they're not doing right by your child and everything like that, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. And if they're not correcting you on your crap, get in your butt. Mm -mm, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Because they're out to get what they want from you. Okay? They're out to get what they want from you. Yeah, they are. I can only talk about me. My husband, he's there for his children before he met me. But now he's there more often. You know why? Because I asked about the kids. Even the grown ones. Have you heard from so-and-so? How's so-and-so doing? He got tired of me asking. Yeah, you got. we have older children too. Yeah, they have age. But yeah, you seem to check on them too. You know why? Because those are our kids. Those are our children. Those are our young men. Those are our two young boys that's coming up the come coming up the rank to be young men, grown men. And you have to be an example. Why? Because you're their father. You are their father. This goes to show what a real woman would do. You dating someone? I don't care if that person is ninety something years old and they children and they seventy. You make sure they reach out to their kids, to their child, to their children. Even if it's only once a month. Because being a female, you that's that strong side of you. I don't have no children. I don't need to have a child to be a mother. I'm a godmother of four. Of four children. Of four, of four grown folks now. They're grown now. You know, even before I became a godmother. So you don't have to birth the child to be a mother. A motherly figure put it that way but on a real note stop leaving your kids with your boyfriends and your girlfriends until you really get to know them and you pass a certain amount of months or even years with them if you have a parent they have grandparents or an uncle while you going to work on a school do that and while you going to work on a school make sure he or she is out going to work going to school too Besides just sitting home watching your child or your children. And if they can't correct you in your nonsense, leave them alone. They can't encourage you to do right, push you to do right, concerning the kids, your children. Cut them off. That's dead weight. All right. Almost at 15 minutes. Good Lord. To the next video. Ta-ta.